Hey guys, Chris Dolny with Guarantee RV Centers in Junction City, Oregon. I'm going to be showing you another Jayco today. This one's the SLX version, but it's the Baja. It's the 212 QBW. Let's go inside. Now this is the shortest full-size model that Jayco makes. What's neat about this is you find this in a lot of different brands as far as the length and everything, but they put full-size features in it. I want to show you this first. You got a full-size fridge here. Now remember, this is a 21-foot trailer. It's still 8-foot wide. You still got the full height, and you still have full-size features. Now what they do different back here is a lot of other models will just have a dinette back here and some cupboards and stuff like that. They balance this by putting a couch and a dinette back here. A lot more seating. If someone's sleeping here, you're not making down the table, vice versa. But there's a lot of room back here. So if you're entertaining a few folks or if you're tailgating or something like that, you got plenty of places to sit. You got TV hookups up here, stereo, stuff like that. Still nice to entertain. But I also love that this kind of shares the aspects of a rear lounge where you have big windows all the way around. Lots of light in here, lots of scenery. If you're dry camping in the woods, you know you're still kind of a part of the whole scenery there. You don't feel like you're caved in in a small little trailer. Also this, very important, it's a pantry. You don't find this in a lot of the shorter models. And I'll tell you what, how nice is it to have an actual place where you can just put the food? You go into a lot of trailers, they don't have that. And you go, well, you're storing food underneath, above, and it's all in five different places. Of course, basic kitchen elements here. You got the stove, you got the oven. Again, Jayco with the nice drawers. One thing that's consistent with Jayco, whether it's their regular J Flight or their SLX, hardwood throughout everything. No particle board, no OSB, stuff like that. They don't do it. Nice big cabinet up here. Again, pocket screwed in, not stapled. Side aisle bathroom. Typically pretty small for guys like me, but this one actually has a decent amount of room in here. With the way everything's positioned, I'm not cramped and no matter what I'm doing, you've got a little bit of a uh, tabletop here. So if you're setting stuff out, electronic toothbrush or hair dryer, you know, whatever, you can put it all right there. And of course you got the tub shower right here. Again, simple 21 foot model, but smart design. So previous years, this model actually had a corner bed. Up until last year, they finally extended it a little bit. It's about a foot longer than previous ones, which used, used to be called the 19RD. But this one, they made a walk around queen bed because everyone wanted that. No one wanted a corner bed. You're climbing over someone. You got the cutouts on each side. So if you're a side sleeper, that works out really well. You've got the plugins, CPAP, charge your phone, stuff like that. And of course, cupboards on each side. And again, something else that's consistent in these with the regular J flights is you have all LED lights at the top too. So very energy efficient if you're dry camping. And on the outside you still have good storage too. So since you have the walk around queen bed, you've got the full pass through storage like the bigger trailers do. Previous ones didn't have that because they had the corner bed there. This one does. You still have nice amenities like a power awning. And the Baja edition Obviously you can see here, Baja Edition is going to be more of a, a rugged tire. It's still the same diameter and width of the regular wheels, so changing the tires is still pretty universal, but you have an off-road tire. Also the other thing is the springs are on top of the axle, so this one's going to have a lot more ground clearance on it. But the nicest thing about this one is not only just this Baja package, but what that brings, it's an 80 gallon water tank not just a 40 in the regular. So they put a second 40 gallon water tank in there so you can actually dry camp for a lot longer. Combine that with the enclosed underbelly, you can go to a lot cooler places than you usually would. Even LED tail lights down here. Again, basic setup right here. You got your hookups right here, but your drain pipe is gonna be in front of the tires back here. It's all centrally located by the kitchen and the, and the bathroom. Outside shower still, still all the nice amenities that you have for each one. Last but not least, the Baja Edition, you're gonna have the seven gallon propane tanks instead of the five gallon. So you can do extended camping if you're using the heater a lot, stove, things like that. Anyways, it's such a great trailer. There are some more things to talk about. So give me a call at the number at the bottom of your screen. Love to talk to you.